Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake and Bake back up on the NBA Live. I do want to open up some more packs. Those rookie ladder packs are out. And, um, yeah, it's rookie ladder Friday. Y'all probably be seeing this a little bit later than Friday. Probably Saturday, Sunday. Because I'm late on videos, man. I've been uploading 2K and Live, trying to push the balance. Get y'all a lot of uploads. But, uh, yeah, they are out. There is also, there should be a rookie ladder challenge as well. They always drop those on Friday. We're still waiting on the Christmas content as of the time I'm be making this video. Probably when that comes out, I'll get a video for you that day. I mean, it might even be Christmas. Who knows? I don't know what they're doing. Maybe it's Christmas Eve, Christmas, I don't know. But we're about like 10 days to Christmas. Rookie ladder right here. You guys can see Kyle Kuzma. And I think that means he's getting a upgrade next week. I think the player that's been on the rookie ladder every week has been getting upgraded that next week. So maybe Kuzma's going to get even more of an upgrade. He's already 83, so he's been getting pretty solid upgrades. Remember, I have the Kuzma, the Dennis Smith, the Darren Fox, and the Jason Tatum. I, I've got a good amount of the rookie cards, but still looking for Ben Simmons and Lonzo Ball. Definitely would love to pack one of them bad boys. You guys can see packs are up for 2,000 points. Not too bad. Again, if you don't have a great team, I, I, I mean, I can recommend opening these, but if you've got a solid squad, and you're not like really looking for rookies. I don't know why you'd open these um, because they, they don't really come with too many high overall players. I will say that last time I opened, but they've been kind of changing the packs. The team of the week packs this last week, y'all saw, had a bunch of elites and play style elites. That didn't have that before. So maybe these packs are a little different today or maybe they're the same, which basically, again, the last time I opened them pretty much just came with gold rookie players. And, and I think I got one rookie ladder uh, player in them that was like a, above a 78 or something so there wasn't a son did we did it only let us buy four? Oh no we did get four okay i was gonna say we'll do this how we've been doing all of our uh, pack openings we'll open up a topper open up the packs open up a topper open up packs we'll go one four one four one four to uh end it up actually four one would be the way i don't know but um anyways we're gonna do that like that let's open up our first topper if that even made any sense but these packs, I like them personally, but I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd recommend opening these. If you've already got a solid squad, I'd recommend other packs. And we get Kyle Kuzma as a first topper. That's pretty good, especially if he does get that upgrade like I've been mentioning to y'all. Because uh, he, he's been killing it, so I'll take him. I mean, look at his stats. 80, 85, 80, and 84. Pretty damn good. I'm hoping Jason Tatum does get a little bit of a boost to his three ball, considering he's shooting the best in the entire NBA, I would hope his ball goes a little bit up, a little three ball upgrade, but let's see what these packs contain. First one of the day, whoa, Malik Monk in our first pack. That's pretty good, man. He's 81, so I mean, this is a topper caliber player in our first pack. That's a good sign, because maybe these packs will give us a little bit better uh, rookie ladder players, because last time, I really didn't get, th this would have been the best pull out of the entire like 20 or 16 rookie ladder packs, so. That's a good sign, Malik Monk right there. And then we also do get these cards, the De'Aaron Fox Gold, and then his uh, Abadayo, I think is how you pronounce it. His uh, rookie ladder card is actually up to an 80. So you could get him in the topper as well, I think. Unless it's just 80 plus, so it's 81 or above, or if it's 80 or above, I'm not sure. But good first pack, I'll take it, definitely will. Again, I'll run out of auction space, probably midway through this pack opening because we get a lot of contracts and a lot of jerseys. Probably could quick sell them as I go along, but I'll just take my break and do it at the end, I suppose. But let's hope we get something good. My back is itchy, oh my goodness. Hope we get something good, man. I wanna see that Ben Simmons, man. Definitely do, he's gonna get, he, he could be a 90 by the end of the year. Definitely could be right there at the Aaron Fox, and I'm pretty sure that's Dylan Brooks. We got him last time a couple times. These uh, gold cards still sell for a couple thousand a pop which is nice, so there's actually some pretty good value. Especially where those challenges to get the rookie ladder players, the free ones, you do need the gold players, so you gotta go take a couple thousand coins, usually you need two of them. I mean, you don't even need gold players, you, you just need base rookies, which is kinda nice, I like that. Jordan Bell, that's another pretty good pull right there. We also get Josh Jackson, I would love his card as well. I forgot, he's got some crazy stats on his uh, ladder program one. It, it's insane, but he did get a boost today as well. Uh, George Bell, his card I think was a 76 last time, now up to his 78, so that's pretty good. Hopefully Semi Ojale got a couple of upgrades as well. He's been playing really well actually for the Celtics, a rookie besides Jason Tatum making an impact, so kind of nice. I like that they picked him. But Celtics are still rolling along pretty nicely. They've won a few games. They got a big game at the time of me recording this against Donovan Mitchell and the Jazz tonight. That should be tough, man. The Jazz have been playing well, and they just played the Nuggets who, man, they put up a lot of points, but they were able to beat them. Lonzo! Nice, baby! In a solo! These, they, I think 
think that I feel like they upgraded these a little bit. I don't know if maybe they saw that another game might have uh, pushed their pack gods up a little bit, but these packs seem a little bit better, and uh, the team of the weeks definitely were better than before. And I thought the team of the weeks were pretty good before, but they got even better. And these packs seem like they're even better as we get Alonzo from the solo pack. Not the greatest three ball, but really good dribbling, finishing, and speed. It's gonna be a fun card to use, man. And it definitely goes for a good amount. That's a good pull right there. Let's go. Now, I, I assume there'll be more of them and maybe some of the other guys pull. But hey, we pulled one of the uh, only few higher overall rookie ladders I don't have. Now it's like Josh Jackson and Ben Simmons. And I mean, it's crazy how stacked this rookie ladder class is. Is that Donovan Mitchell on the cover of these packs? I think it is. And again, I have his card as well, which I don't think it, it, I got a little minor upgrade today, but that card could easily be at the end a 90 plus as well. Like, pretty crazy how these overalls are going to be by the end of the year. It should be nice if we get to Kari Johnson. See, this looks more like the packs we were getting last time. We were getting a lot more of the lower overall ones that you get from the solo rather than from uh, the actual uh, packs and the toppers like I've been getting. Um, we've opened up three packs, maybe four. How many do we have? 14? So we have 11, so we could actually do another topper, I think. Maybe? My math isn't that great. Do I have to do one more? I feel like we should open up another topper. I think we flew through too many packs. That Lonzo Ball was like another topper. Come on, baby. Josh Jackson, Ben Simmons, some of the other great rookies I'd love to dupe up and sell for a nice little profit. And boom, we get another Malik Monk. I'll take it. It's not bad. I think Bam Abadai would probably be the worst one that you could get right now. Because again, I think he's an 80 overall. I think he's the lowest, but Malik Monk right there, who we did get from our first little uh, pack, and then we also get him up in the topper, so we can sell him, make some coins. I am almost at a million, so that's nice. I should be able to take some of the cards from today's pack opening and easily push over one million coins, which is nice. I know y'all like seeing these packs, so that's why I'm doing them for y'all. Y'all been showing the love, y'all been showing the support, and I gotta do that by showing y'all more content, more packs. And y'all, I know y'all like to see these, so hey, and we'll continue to get y'all some gameplay. We showed you a little bit of the Sean Kemp in the last one, and I'm sure there's gonna be some some type of Chris Brawl coming soon, and I know I'll get y'all some gameplay from that. And I gotta finish up the heroes, man. I'm almost at 100 wins as well, man. 95 wins and 950,000 coins. That's kind of crazy how I've got that lined up right there. I I promise I didn't plan that, but that is kind of cool. Hope we can get one more 80. 2 to 83 overall for the video. That would be dope. One more, uh, Josh Jackson, I'd be pretty happy if we just got him. We get Wallace, I don't know who. Tyrone Wallace is. There's a lot of rookies this year, man. Or even Laurie Markin and his card has gone up a little bit here and there. I know he didn't play against the Celtics even though the Bulls didn't need him. Um, and they've been playing, the Bulls have actually been playing really nicely right now. I think they've got like four or five straight wins. Looking kind of nice, but then again, ain't they supposed to be tagging at this rate? They're gonna be the eighth seed. <laughs> Like, if they keep winning games like that, they just might, even though they're way behind, I'm pretty sure. But the race for the Tankathon is definitely on between a few teams. I know the Suns are way down there. The Mavericks are way down there. Zach Collins right there, not a bad one. I do already have him. So, again, I'll see if I can ship this on the market. I might even wait till he's, like, an 80 overall, see if I can get a little bit more for him. I do have Frank Nittel. Not a bad pack right there. We also got, again, a silver Frank and a gold Tatum, gold Tatum. I'll take at least 1,000 to 2,000 coins for that bad boy right there. Come on, let's see what we got. Okay, so at eight packs, we technically could do another topper now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. One topper now, and then the last topper will be the last pack of the video. Let's get it, just like we do with all my other pack openings, pretty much. It's usually four packs each, and then a topper. But uh, yeah, these packs are pretty good again. The value's not too crazy, but right there, ah, Milos Teodosic, I think that's how you say his name. That's all right. He really hasn't been playing much because of the foot injury. I kind of forgot. I didn't even know he had a rookie ladder card, to be honest. I kind of forgot about him, but uh, that's just all right. It's cool. It's better than Marco Fultz, I guess. Like, y'all, we're going to get him just because I said that. <laughs> but, like, like he's not playing at all. I think this guy is back. But that's not the craziest pull. Definitely not. And that's what you're going to get when more guys get upgraded to 80 plus. Some of these toppers ain't going to be too crazy as, like, they would have been the first week you open them. You get, like, automatically one of, like, Simmons, Fultz, Tatum, one of those guys. But So it's pretty banger bust right there, I guess, too. But, uh, yeah, we're getting some cool pulls. Some all right, some not all right. Matt Williams right there. Dennis Jr. And, again, the Tatums. Ah, and my options are 
full. All right, let's get it. Seven more packs. I've cleaned up some space. We should be good to go, at least to finish the pack opening, man. My goodness, I really hope we get some kind of binder update soon because my binder has been full forever, man. I can't even add so many Malik Monks, man. I can't even add contracts to all my guys, man. I gotta start selling these as I go along. I gotta quick sell at least these things. All right, my goodness. But we will uh, send the rest of this stuff to my uh, inventory, man. But I'm trying to quick sell all the stadiums and stuff like that. But I gotta be careful because... But I do have to watch out. And something I've realized recently is that I've actually pulled some of the statement jerseys. And those do go for some coins. People were buying those uh, for like, what, 10 to 15 to 20K? I mean, I bought the Celtics one, I think for 15K off of the homie Izzy Snow. But uh, I know the Lakers one, I have that. And it was sold for a little bit. Some dudes were trying to buy that. So that's kind of nice. But these logos, I can get rid of those. And I can confidently get rid of uh, Justin Patton. But another Jordan Bell right there. So these packs do seem a little bit better. A smidge better than they were last time. But still, I don't think these would be worth picking up if you are. Again, you've already got a pretty solid team. Uh, unless you're just trying to make some coins and hit the bank and luckily get the simmons or the lonzo or again i don't even know if lonzo gonna sell for a ton but i'm gonna keep him and maybe eventually at the end of the year when he's after his beastly year he'll sell for a little bit Ooh, semi ojale right there it's kind of nice i think i already have him we also do get a gold marco bolt still sells for a little bit he's not injured in the game that's kind of nice but yeah uh, oh i should have sold those things ah i'm trying to keep my inventory low man so i don't have to keep going back to it deleting things i mean i could easily finish this pack when i'm pretty sure without doing that, but I want to stay on top of my game right here because, yeah, it's kind of annoying just having to go back, redo that, go back, redo that all the time. Y'all don't see that, but it gets a little annoying and it takes forever. We get Josh Jackson. I'm really hoping we can end it with a Josh Jackson topper, man. Really am. I, I, I'm begging that the last topper could be Josh Jackson. Please. He's going, he's probably going for the most besides Ben Simmons, I'd say. Because, just because his stats are insane, and I heard he plays like a little LeBron James out there, which is kind of crazy, because his stats on his normal card don't look that great, but apparently on the uh, rookie ladder, they are wild. Hey, more packs. Can we get another 80 plus in the three packs? That would be pretty dope. Again, we have gotten a few. We've gotten like, what, three or four Malik Monks. He seems to be a little bit more common. We get another Lonzo Ball. We also did get the Lonzo, uh, what's it called? The lucky, rookie ladder. I can't even say that right. I'm saying lucky ladder. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you gotta be careful to check these to make sure you're not getting the statement jerseys because you don't want to sell those for nothing. Those can go up in the auction house. I have to check and see if there are any of those statement jerseys up for the ones that I pulled. And hey, if not, put them up for 5, 10K and that's easy money. Another tip too, the uh, recent, what's it called? The recent challenge for the Supersonics, the limited cards, you can actually sell that. And I sold my Ray out for 5,000, so that's kind of nice. I didn't book it up for any crazy amount because it's only a trial card, but if someone wants to try out the Ray out for 5K, they can because, hey, if you did the trial, you didn't get him, you have the packs, didn't get him, you might not want to spend, you know, what, right, 80,000, 60,000 coins on him. So that's kind of nice. I did that. I chalked that bad boy up. But, yeah, the logos can get sold. Those I don't even need. I, don't, I like some of, these, some of these players, too, I can quick sell. But hopefully we don't get master challenges for that team. And then I look like a, like a dummy a couple months from now when I could have had like triple the amount of coins for that card. Triple or even four or five times. So last few packs. Let's do it. Last rookie pack. Can we clutch it with something nice? Especially in the top. Or probably not. But I still, I'm happy. We got Alonzo like that. That's one of the guys I really wanted to get. And I, obviously there haven't been any up in the market because he's really rare. We also do get a Frank Mason. I had him really haven't been able to sell him. He's got good stats though. No one's trying to buy him, but he got an 83 ball, 85 speed, good defense. It's a good card, good dribbling, but uh, no one was wanting to buy my Frank Mason last time. All right, let's do it. Last topper, can we clutch it with Simmons or Lonzo? Or we already got Lonzo, so Simmons or Justin Jackson. That's what I'm trying to say. Come on, man, 80 plus. It's automatically gonna be something pretty nice. But let's see if we can get one of the most rare lookies in the game. I'm saying lookies. I can't even speak properly. That's a good pull. Donovan Mitchell, who again is on the cover of these packs and has been feasting this year. I already have one. So that means I can sell this card. And that's a good profit right there. He'll go for probably a good amount. I'm going to check the auction right real quick before we end the video and show y'all what the price of some of these rookie ladders going for. We're gonna see on the auction house if there are any Donovan Mitchell, uh, what's it called? Not the team of the weeks. Those are going for a good amount, but the actual rookie ladder, you guys can see one's up for 35K. That's not even that bad. 
to be honest. For one of the best rookies, that's actually like a pretty good price. He was probably just posted, uh, but I'm not gonna buy that. I'm gonna wait, but at least he goes for 30K, so that's a good pull, right? It definitely is. And I'm gonna wait till his uh, rookie ladder keeps going up and up and up, because it definitely will. Let's see if there are any Lonzo's or anything like that. What's the, uh, what is the price of De'Aaron Fox? I've got a few of him right now. I definitely have to unload one or two of those at some point. About 35K for him as well, 50K for this one. I, again, I've got a couple of those stacked up, so I can definitely sell one of those in the future. And I'm kind of waiting. With these, you got to pick the right moment, I feel like. And there definitely will be, especially if they're eventually needed for some of those challenges or stuff like that. That would be kind of nice. They definitely could be at some point. But let's see what uh, my man from the Lakers is going for. Is there any of him up? There weren't earlier, and I don't think there are. Because, again, that Lonzo Ball is super rare. I mean, even his base card, look at this. Even his base card is going for, like, 5K. That's not bad. So, uh, yeah, and his play style card going for 30K. So Lonzo Ball, pretty hyped up. Still wish we got Simmons or we would have gotten the, uh, what's it called, the Jaskin. That would have been cool. But, hey, man, we still got some good cards. And then we have a ton of gold players. Look at this. 19 pages where a lot of these are the rookies. And, yeah, we going to be able to sell most of these. Since we have, like, a billion Malik Mongs, what's he going for, man? He seems super common right now. None up on the market, so I might try and sell those bad boys. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to stay subscribed for more NBA Live 18 action up on LUT. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, as always, more packs. And uh, let me know in the comments if you like these packs. You don't like them. I like them. But, again, they're not for everyone. I will say that. Like, some of those packs, I I'm like, legend packs for everyone. Uh, TV Week packs might be for everyone now too, but like the play styles, I don't really mess with those. And like, yeah, so some of the, the, the dunk or the some of the weird ones are I just, and they're not weird, but they're just, uh, I don't know, they're not for me. I don't really think they're the best value for your buck. Can I even speak today? <laughs> Hope y'all enjoy. Peace.